YouTube, YouTube, NVIDIA touches $100 per share in the aftermarket. Now listen guys, please hit the like button so we can fight against the algorithm. I would really appreciate it. Now, NVIDIA, at 4.05 p.m. Eastern time, I saw it touch $100 per share uh, in the aftermarket. Now, listen guys, I know it may be a little bit of noise in the background. Got four kids, uh, three of them are going to three different schools and mysteriously, all of them had orientation on the, on the same day around the same time. So I'm having to record this while I'm doing my workout. I apologize, but at least we're getting it done, right? So I saw Nvidia touch $100 per share and we know that interest rates uh, from the Federal Reserve, uh, we're gonna have a decision on that tomorrow. And along with that, we're gonna have Jerome Powell, who's the chair of the Federal Reserve speaking after that. Now we know that Jerome Powell, uh, when he speaks, the market moves. And I think tomorrow there will be no e exception to that. Now, historically we know uh, after there is an interest rate the markets usually uh, have a, have a sell-off. But in this situation, I think we're eagerly waiting for a response of which, on when we're going to have interest rate cuts. I think the markets are so desperate that it would actually be positive for this one moment. Okay. Now, I would expect that if we have interest rates this year, even if it's one, two, three, whatever it's going to be, I think that the impact in the market is going to reflect that in 2025, not necessarily uh, this year because we are in an, in an election year. Now, I know a lot of analysts would disagree with me there that it would be a positive thing uh, if he let us know tomorrow. Now, here's what I think. If, if he, he, they give us a, a, a estimation on the first rate cut, I think NVIDIA goes back to about 120 to start. If they do not give us information, we're going to risk testing under $100 per share, more specifically $95, okay? So as proof, you can see here in the aftermarket, it touched $100.40. Now, I want to ask you guys, did you guys buy any NVIDIA? In the, after, out in the aftermarket when it touched a hundred dollars per share right now nvidia in my opinion is severely on sale now even if this thing were to drop to 85 dollars or 80 dollars i don't care i at those points i would be going all in I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys i will be going all in and i will be willing to set for years until it came back up if it didn't have a recovery, but I don't think it would stay down that, that, that long, if, even if it were to go down. Now, I think for earnings uh, with NVIDIA, I believe that the stock is going to go back up to test those all-time highs again uh, and eventually get over 140 and head on over to 150 a share and possibly even more. That's just my perspective, okay? So overall... I want to give you guys some insight on what's going on uh, with Nvidia. Really, really sneaky how they've been bringing those those prices down in the aftermarket. You have to pay attention, guys. You got to be a little bit more alert uh, and take advantage when they're playing these types of games. Okay. Now, let me know what you guys think of Nvidia and the current price that it's at. What levels are you guys looking at? Uh, do you think? $100 is a steal. Do you think under $100, $100 is a steal? Let me know, guys. Listen, guys, I appreciate you guys. I apologize again for the noise. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, guys, we are out. Peace.